What's good? This is Trav from WeGotBeats.com here. And uh, today I just wanted to share a video with you. I was on YouTube uploading some beats and um, I saw this video off to the side from Complex and it was uh, a documentary on um, Jeru's Come Clean. If you don't know what Come Clean is, you're probably not that old, but um, you know, I'll leave a link down below. I mean, you should know this song. It's popular. I mean, it was one of the most popular songs and actually Biggie took it as a diss to him. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. And I respect all of them. I mean, that's, you know, old shit it has nothing to do with me. But anyway, I was watching it and he said something very, very important. And I'm going to roll this clip for you right now. So check this out. That's why we made the record because we wanted it to be here 20 years later. We wanted it to be legendary. When we were making records, whenever we touched the mic to this day, I want it to be legendary. I want it to set me apart from everybody else that's doing it. And we're not talking about money or, or, or any of that. You understand what I'm saying? Because anybody can make or lose money. We talking about the respect and, and the recognition that this is something that no matter what they do, it's going to always be. And that's what I think being an MC is about, putting your mark down. Now remember we were talking about standing out and not blending in. He was talking about, he would, every single time him and Preem went into the studio, even to this day, he's talking about making legendary records that is going to last 20 years like Come Clean did. Like when they made Come Clean, they didn't know it was still going to be a classic hip hop record 20 years. But that's what they were shooting for. That was their goal. And they just wanted to be, he wanted to be the, the best MC possible. He wanted to stand out from the competition. He was doing something different. When you listen to Come Clean, I mean, from Jeru's style, the way he was spitting to the, the beat itself. The the beat has that, the doom, doom, doom. Doom, 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 doom. You know what I'm saying? It's it's it sounds like raindrops. You know, it's it's something totally different than anything else anybody has had ever heard up to that point. And that's what I mean by talk when I say you need to stand out and not blend in. Now we're in 2015. The trap music, pop, EDM, all that has taken over. All right, but everybody's doing the same thing. Everybody and. I'm going to share with you in another video um, why why this is so crucial for you to be doing this boom bap stuff, this going back to the essence, going back to the root of things with the hip hop music, because right now people are craving that real hip hop. They they really are. I mean, it's it's something that they they miss dearly. I mean, of course, you know me. I always say everything has its time and place. You know, I don't want to hear a KRS record in the club when I'm trying to get a you know bitch to come home with me. But you know, if I'm sitting in the crib, you know, I I want to hear some you know KRS one. I want to listen to some you know Jeru, Biggie. We have plenty enough club songs. I want you to really start thinking about your message. All right, what what is it that what's the message you're trying to get across to people? Is it political? It's about uh, social uh, social issues. Is it, you know what is your what is it about? What is your story? What is your whole brand about? You gotta start thinking about that so that when we go in and make your record. We already know from the beat selection, from the songs that you're going to be talking about, the, the message. I mean, you're really going to have a better start than 99% of artists trying to make it today. I mean, they'll just throw on a beat and just rap some shit and, you know, whatever. And it's not, and most of it's not even good shit. It's not even like a lyrical cypher shit like Big L used to do. You know, if you listen to that lifestyle of the poor and dangerous... I mean, there was hella songs on there where it's just like a big ass fucking cypher. I'm getting off point though, but you know, it just goes back, harkens back to what I was saying about standing out and not blending in. We got to, you know, we got to start being different. I mean, and you as an individual, me as an individual, we're already different. You know, just from being who we are, there's nobody on the face of the earth that is 100% like us, nor will there ever be one again. So there's only one you, and there will only be one you for the rest of history, for the rest of time. There's only going to be one you. So it's not hard to be yourself, right? It's not hard. Just be yourself, 
know what your message is and stand out don't blend in don't try to you know just don't try to ride a wave just because that's what's hot right now people want that we, we've had too much candy we need some soul food right now all right really start you know the, the only thing I want you to take away from this video is what is your message what is the point you're trying to get across what is your story who is this going to appeal to how are you different from everyone else what is your style I want you to think about all these things so that when you go in and make your record, you already know who you're targeting, you know who you want to get your message across to, you know everything. Once you know that, then it's then it's easy. So I want you to think about that for you know however long it takes, because this is crucial to your success as a rapper in today's music industry. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Go to uh, wegotbeats.com if you need the banging ass beats. Go ahead, subscribe to this channel, like, uh, um, you know, share this video if you think someone else would get value out of this. Uh, my name is Trav again from wegotbeats.com. Take care.